Hey, Church Inside Out family, this is Pastor Mike. I just want to touch base with you. Um, sure miss you guys. Love this past Sunday where we got together as a church family. I uh, hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, today's Family Worship Sunday, and, and if you need a resource, check out Right Now Media. Um, contact Danielle or myself, and we can get you connected if you have not uh, um, logged in as of yet. But great resources for the kids and for you. Uh, there's some Advent resources that you can utilize on Right Now Media to start the celebration of the birth of Jesus. Um, and so reason we do Family Worship Sunday, and we do that about um, on these long weekends, is just to give an opportunity for Sabbath for families and to have an opportunity. Hopefully, you're going to bring the Word of God into your home. Uh, whether it's outside, whether it's inside, we don't care. We just we want to equip and we want to encourage and set aside time where we challenge our moms and dads, husbands and wives to bring the word to their family. So hope that is happening today. We don't we don't police that, but we pray that um, you are and that you take advantage of this time that it's not a, a day off from God, but it would be full a, a day full of Sabbath where we worship him. Um, another thing is our angel angel tree. We're gonna focus on that a lot this uh, this month. And so if you've not received an angel tree, talk to Cindy King. So um, we've still got quite a few angels that need to be adopted. Um, and so just uh, be praying for the opportunity to be the hands and feet uh, to these. Also in Bixby, we've got about 40 kids that are going to be, we've got a church adopting kids over there as well. Um, but just want to bring a quick word to you out of 1 Corinthians 13, or sorry, 16. It says, be watchful, stand firm in the faith, be strong and courageous. Let all that you do, uh, let all you do be done in love. If any one of you has no love for the Lord, let him be accursed. And then there's this phrase, O oh Lord, come. And that, uh, that there's a word for that, and that's Maranatha. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with you. My love be with you all in Christ Jesus. And so as we start this first Sunday of, of Advent, um, my prayer is that we would pray this, Lord, come. More than ever do we need uh, Christ to come, and we don't know when that's going to be. And just uh, just a word of caution, if you're listening to people saying, hey, if Jesus come back like tomorrow, be careful. But we do need to pray that. But aren't you grateful that we have the Holy Spirit? Can you imagine what it was like before the birth of Christ? There was 400 years of darkness where God did not speak. Can you Can you imagine the hopelessness of that? And then... Jesus arrives. What an amazing time when we celebrate that. And so may we remember that, uh, fortunately, we don't have to live through that 400 years of darkness because the Holy Spirit lives inside of us. Even though the dark, the world may seem dark right now, um, we have Christ in us, the hope of glory. And so uh, we want to pray, Lord Jesus, come, because there's going to be time when he comes back to return for us. Um, but why did why did Paul and the early Christians regularly use this watchword Maranatha? And this prayer is related to the prayer Jesus gave his disciples: "Your kingdom come." When we pray for the Lord's kingdom to come, we ask God to send His Son, so the Lord Jesus, to come and reign over us as King and Lord. We pray for Him to come and fulfill His work of redemption, to unite all things in Christ, and to make things new. And so, how does the Lord? reign over us. It's through his word and through his spirit. God's kingdom comes to those who submit their lives to him. Uh, those who obey his word and yield to the, the work of the Holy Spirit, um, who will transform us into the likeness of Christ. We don't do that on our own. It's only through the power of the Holy Spirit. Um, and that distinctive mark of the disciples of Jesus, his body here on earth is their love for one another. And this is John 13. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. So this Advent season reminds us that um, we are a sign of God's kingdom, his redeeming presence and merciful love. Christ wants our love to not be lukewarm, but hot and intense. And this, this um, fire of Christ's love will not inflame us. It will engulf us if we allow our hearts and minds to be ruled and empowered with the love of Christ. But all you do be that done in love. And uh, just a sneak peek of 2021 is um, I believe God is calling us as a church to um, learn to uh, 
read the word and be the word through a gospel lens. And um, Psalms 119, 105 is going to be our, our theme verse. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And so we want the word of God to be um, the words we go to. We want them to be the words we listen to in every, in every situation, in every decision that we need to make. And so um, in that, I would just ask us to pray uh, today as we start Advent is, Lord Jesus, come. Um, until then, use us. Lord Jesus, come. Until then, use us. Um, I can't imagine what it was like when Jesus came on the scene through the birth of a baby after 400 years of silence. Um, but you know what? How grateful I am. How grateful I am that he, he did that for us. And so, above all, may we be reminded of that simple truth and that simple hope. Let me pray. Father, we come before you. I pray for our church today. Lord, that they would spend time in Sabbath. That they would time spend, spend time in the Word together as a family. Not just a checklist, but to, um, but to um, really uh, seek you with all their heart. God, we come before you and praise you. Um, Lord, I ask you to go before our church. Lord, help us to be the hands and feet of Jesus. And today we pray, come Lord Jesus, Maranatha, in Jesus' name, amen.